Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be building a computer with this MATX case that I got from Timu for $16. I have two 120mm fans for the front. For the motherboard I have this ASUS Prime H510MA. It's an MATX motherboard. And for the CPU I have this Intel Core i5 11400 stock Intel cooler 600 watt EVGA power supply 80 plus for the RAM I have two sticks here they're both 8 gig sticks one is from G Skill one is from Team Group I don't have t two of the same sticks for this build so I'm just using these two well it, it'll it'll still work just fine. For the storage, I have this one terabyte of Western Digital Black for an SSD. Windows, I have this Samsung SSD. It is a 500 gig SSD. Go, 840 Evo. For the GPU, I have this Zotac GTX 970. So it is a bit older. I wanted to use my 1080. Let me show you guys this gigabyte 1080. But it is way too big. So if you guys want to see how big this case is. Let me compare it to this Gigabyte GTX 1070. Sorry, I, I think I said 1080. It's actually a 1070. If you can see, it's almost the size of the case. Like the, the height. And now look at the width, the width right here. It will not fit in this case. So I cannot use this, unfortunately. to be using my GTX 970. That won't be a problem. Let's go ahead and start building this computer. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the motherboard. I always like starting off with this first, installing the CPU, the RAM, thermal paste, and the heat sink. So let's get started. I'm gonna install the CPU. I'm just gonna release this lever here, this lever. Push it up, like so. So here I got my CPU. The i5-11400. Let me go ahead and install that. Like so. There you go. Just move it around. Make sure it's seated correctly in there. Alright, so I'm going to close this up. Get into that screw here. Let's see if I can, there you go. Let's get it in there. And then push down and lock and that's pretty much the CPU in next thing I'm gonna do is apply some thermal paste I'm just gonna do a little bit right here that should be good enough and then we can install our cooler I like lifting it up you know, pushing down first and then the pins to each side and you can check in the back if they all went through. Right there, right there, right there. Perfect. And then you can wire this power connector. Okay, so it's going to have to go. Let's see if I can make it a little nice. Right here. And where's the CPU? There's usually a pin... That says CPU, so CPU fan is the top one. Chassis fan 2 is the bottom one, so we're going to use CPU fan. Let's just plug it into that. There you go, connected. Just a little bit of organization right there. Cable management, perfect. Next up is my RAM. This board only has two slots, so we can only install two DIMMs. Two sticks of RAM. And there you go, just like that. And then I'm just gonna clip both sides. You can hear a click. There you go. There you go. So now they're fully installed. Perfect. 
And that's pretty much it for the board. Now we can move to the case, start working on that. I am going to install the fans and the back plate on the case. Alright, so we're now at the case. I'm taking the side panel off. There you go. So it's got some rubber band on it. Oh, drop that. That's alright. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is install the back plate. It's pretty, pretty simple. Just going to put it in the back. Usually the audio ports, a little circle, three circles are always at the bottom. And then your display uh, connections or keyboard connections are always at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and install it like so. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Alright, it's now on there. Alright, the next thing I'm going to install are the fans. Alright, so I have now installed the fans. So the 100, sorry, the 80 milli, the 90 millimeter. I believe it's 90 or 80. Uh, maybe wrong. I keep, I kept saying 90 millimeters. Um, it's either 90 or, or 80. I totally forgot, but I think it's a 90. I, I rarely use these, uh, this size of fan. I'm really, I'm only used to these uh, 120 or 140 millimeters, but it's installed. There you go. Two in the front, one in the back, and then we're also going to have the power supply as an exhaust um, because this top part is where the power supply goes. So let me go ahead and install the motherboard. All right, so the motherboard is now going in, is now going in. Like so I'm trying to do this with one hand and then the other hand in the drill oh. okay that's gonna be kind of hard usually when you install the motherboard you want the case to be flat but I always install it upwards it's easier if it's flat but you know just want to do it upwards for now come on get it in there just to get it in there And then finally we can get the bottom. Oh, I think it's a little too tight on this. I always keep it loose in case I want to move it around like so. There you go. Now the top left and the bottom right are pretty much centering the other screws. Pretty much have to just screw in the other ones. All right, so the board is now fully installed. All the screws are in. Now to install, what do we need to install? The hard drive and SSD. All right, so here's a little diagram for the components. It looks like we can fit 3.5 inch hard drives on the front. What the? That's, what what is what do, what do you mean front? Like right here? How does that work? Oh, what the is it? Are they saying we can install it like this right in front of the fan? No. That's no. What? So we can have fans or no fans. That's basically what it's telling us. Um, 3.5 inch hard drive on the front, one at the bottom down here, which is where I'm going to install it, and then an SSD on the bottom right, and then the hard drive on the left, and then the power supply up there, and should be good to go. So let me go ahead and install these, so something like that, hard drive SSD. And then the screws, you put them from the bottom. You can see the holes down there. So let me install these. That's it. So that's how it's going to look. Hard drive SSD. I mean, it looks pretty nice. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Cable management in this computer is going to be hard. All right, let me plug in the front panel connectors. So... If I can show you guys again, right there. It's gonna be 
kind of hard if this case is really small. All right, so we're gonna start off with this one, which is, let's see if I can get that, USB. Usually USB is always at the bottom of the board. So let's see which is the closest one right here and that's installed or plugged in and then the next one we have is audio right there audio audio is always going to be at the left bottom or middle of the board depending on the board that you have you just align it and so now we're going to connect these front panel LEDs, power switch, reset switch. I'm just going to go ahead and plug them in right now. All right, now look at all these cables. Well, I guess I can plug in the, the fan. Yeah, I think there's a connection here. I'm just going to plug it on there. Bam, and then the front, fan, front fans. Plug one of these at the bottom. Uh, let's see, where's more fan connectors? Is that a fan connector? Nope. So another thing about small motherboards, they don't have a lot of connectors for fans. It looks like we only have two, not including the CPU. Or am I missing something? Or I may have to get a splitter. All right, so I found this uh, splitter here. Unfortunately, it doesn't connect to the board. It connects to the power supply. So the front fans will be running at full speed at all times. Um, hopefully they're not too loud, um, but it's only one way to find out. Alright, so, oh yeah, I gotta connect the fans to RGB, because, yes. Alright, so it's looking nice, you can see, like, so you can see this, this looks nice, the cables look nice. Um, hopefully I can cable manage them, then better than this. So right now I'm just gonna start plugging in the storage to the motherboard. I think I'm gonna try to cable manage this before... I install the power supply because that's even more cables to manage. So I'm going to cable manage this, these cables and then I'm going to install the power supply and then the GPU and we'll turn it on and we'll see how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and cable manage this off, off camera. I'll be right back. All right, so I finally cable managed the computer. Let me know how I did. I basically just shoved cables over there. One Velcro, Velcro tie right there. Now for the fun part, we're gonna install the power supply. So once again, for the power, it is an EVGA, what is that, W3 series. All right, power supply is now installed. So this is how it's gonna be looking right there. It looks nice and clean actually. It doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty nice. All right, let's, let's start plugging these in. You get what you paid for, but it looks nice. All right, those are all the cables that I need plugged in. Oh, these are extra. I'm gonna you know, bundle these up. All right, so this looks decent enough. There you go. Oh, crap. I freaking tied up the SATA connectors. 
PCI connectors, my bad, for the GPU. But there you go, that's the GPU right there. Nice and cute, and that's a lot. All right, so I'm finally done with the computer build. This is my final results here. Power supplies in, cable is a nightmare. Super nightmare with small cases, but I got the GPU in, got it powered on. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look too bad besides the cables looking like dookie up here. But, you know, not much we can do. You know, just push them back there. Small cases don't, you know, this is the, the purpose for small computer cases. You know, to give you uh, more space in your desk. You know, just have a small computer in there. There you go. Show you the back. Bam. Little computer case right here. MATX case from Timu. It's looking nice. Simple. Not too bad. You gotta zoom in right here. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna connect this to power, connect it to my display, and we're gonna see how it looks powered on. All right, so here is the computer next to a monitor. So just to give you an example, of how small this case is, I have this desk here. It's very small, not very small, but it's like a basic table, you know, average size, and you know that's your average standard keyboard. That is a 27 inch Asus monitor next to the case. So from the top, you can see how very little space the case uses. So it's not too bad, not too bad. And you can put it in either side. You can put it horizontal or vertical like that. It still doesn't take a lot of space. It's nice and compact. Awesome, let me go ahead and power it on and see how it looks. Oh, look at that. So the fans will be running at full speed at all time because it is powered with the power supply. There you go. Oh, nice RGB. Look at that. Nice. Asus logo. Looks like everything is detected. 16 gigs of RAM. The two storage devices. Please enter setup with current BIOS. Uh, no keyboard detected. All that nice, cool stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this build. Um, I don't have Windows installed on any of these drives or SSDs. So I won't be installing Windows in this video. I'll just do it off camera. Uh, when I, you know, when I have time. But other than that, this is the build right here. As you can see that right there. Ooh, it looks nice. Let me turn off the lights and see how it looks. All right, so this is with normal, pretty much normal lighting. Just one light right there. And that's how it looks. Am I going to like you guys? For $16, this case looks really, really good. And if you don't want to keep the side panel on, you can just leave it, leave it like this. Maybe make it a custom acrylic side panel. That would be pretty sick to do. But, yeah, that looks really nice. Look at that. Doesn't take too much space. It does have a 970, but you can probably get like a smaller, powerful GPU to fit in here. See the space clearance you have right here. But... Yeah, yeah, once again, I appreciate all of you guys that watch my videos. You like my videos. Thank you very much. Um, this is just another fun video that I like making when I have free time. And I really wanted to see how this case, I was thinking when I bought it that, you know, it was made out of plastic or something. But $16, all metal frame, all metal, and it fits. Everything fits. Everything that it claimed it could fit, it fit. So I'm really happy with that. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions. 
leave a like if you liked the video. Dislike if you disliked it. Um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.